Welcome back to the MIS training series. During this video, we will explore the FROG. FROG is an acronym which stands for Family, Resilience, and Opportunities for Growth. It is replacing the parent survey. Any cases that have been assessed prior to the go-live date will remain as is with the parent survey as the assessment tool. Please ask your contract or program manager for your program's go-live date. The fraud date is entered on the pre-assessment form. It appears only after case status number two, assessment completed, is entered on question number seven. After entering the fraud date, enter the form as usual, assigning an FSS with an appropriate date, then click submit. The FROG form then opens for data entry. The first page of the form has not changed. Enter as usual, completing all required and pertinent fields before moving on to the next tab. The next tab is the FROG scale, and it is much different than the parent survey scale. The first field you will see is number 14, was parent two present? If the answer to this question is yes, then the determination of whether parent 2 is the PC2 or the OBP is made in the next field. If the answer is no, then the next field and all fields pertaining to the parent 2 are pre-filled. All of the scoring fields of the domains default to not yet scored. These fields are validated by questions 14 and 15. After answering number 14 and 15, we recommend users go to the last tab and click the submit button to save the form. This action will bring you back to the forms page where you can click on the frog form and continue entering the scores and narratives. If the Are You Still There button appears, please click Yes to avoid timeouts. To avoid the possibility of lost work, please submit the form after completing each domain narrative. If you need to answer a call or leave your computer, we recommend that users submit the form at the bottom and then when you are available, go back in and add more to the narrative. Tap through the form, entering the relevant data, and then click Submit. Remember that any missing or unanswered field will result in a validation message. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope it was helpful, and we hope to see you next time. Take care.